uh, Wilksy Grand Final Week. <laughs> that, that's an exciting prospect for you and the academy side. It is, yeah. It's, um, it's come around again and we, uh, we're in it and we've done well. Um, done well, um, not as probably convincing as, as sort of last year, but again, we said right from the start, it's not about last year, it's about this year and the, and the boys have done well. Um, competed in um, in all those games. Unfortunately, we didn't quite get the game on at Worcester. Um, but no, they've been really good. They've been really good. Um, they've not been easy um, easy wins or, all the time. Um, certainly that game against uh, Sale was, was a real good test for us. And uh, great to play Yorkshire at, uh, at uh, Walford Road. Um, yeah, and the boys have learned and, and grown and, and they've been fantastic. One player in particular, just before we do touch on grand final a bit more, is Sam Costello, who's obviously still in the academy set up, still at school, and away with Wales under 20s, which is a, a fantastic achievement for him. Yeah, um, it is. Um, and uh, he's been really good. Um, he um, obviously had a bit of a shoulder injury um, early in the season. Um, but he's been he's been good. Had to balance school. Been travelling a lot. Um, we've not seen him too much in training and, and trying to trying to manage him. School, Wales, parents, travel's been been uh, been tough on him. Um, we've we've uh, hopefully looked after him pretty well, and, and he's absolutely mad keen to play on on Sunday in amongst it all. And uh, and this week, you know, it's, it's his main focus, and I'm sure. Next week might be uh, will be a different story when uh, when it's Wales v England and uh, hopefully he'll be involved in that as well. But no, he's been great and he's taken it all in and there's a lot lot for him to, to, to balance. But he's been great. Is it a rematch? Do you obviously with so many players moving on and coming in with academy squads? Is it a rematch in the grand final from last year or is it a new whole new prospect? I would say two two clubs that are are well coached and. Um, there's a fair bit of crossover from from last year, certainly on our point, uh, our side, and I think the same from them. There's just certainly a few a few names that recognised from from the team sheet last year. So yeah, if, if the summer will be a, a rematch, but on the whole, I think just a just a new a new challenge. Um, uh, for us, it didn't really matter who we play in the final. You you want to you want to play the best team, um, and you want a, a, a good a good contest, which hopefully we'll get. I'm sure we'll get. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's. Um, it's interesting. It's the same team again. I think it was very, very close in the southern, uh, yeah. the southern conference. So it could have been anyone from, I think Gloucester, Quinns, or, or Bath. We thought it was Bath. Um, but yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll take them on, um, and uh, hopefully win. You guys talk a lot about the fact that it's not a results-driven program. It's about the players improving, and it's about producing players for the club for years to come. In a grand final, obviously. We want to win a grand final, you want to win games on game day, I'm sure the competitive streak comes out. But is it also about these guys experiencing the week of a grand final and experiencing the, the highs of, of playing in a big match? Yeah, that, that, that's part of it. I think we talk about, um, it is about development, but actually when you get you know, on the pitch on a Saturday, it's about winning. You know, and you want those lads to, to get on the pitch and do everything they can to win. Um, same, same this week. Um, it doesn't change uh, being a grand final week. We trained last night um, and we'll have a team run on Friday and we'll go down on Sunday and we'll, we'll, we'll do our very best. But yeah, look, it has a bit of heightened, uh, heightened tension and, and there's um, obviously some boys that have missed out selection and that's been tough, uh, been tough for them and it's been a real tough selection in, in, uh, in quite a lot of positions. Um, but yeah, the, the, the focus is definitely on, on winning. We definitely don't want to take that away from from the lads and the coaches, they're definitely, uh, definitely out there to win. So yeah, you balance that. You, it's a balance through through the, through the program. But certainly, yeah, that, that is uh, um, heightened when it's uh, when it's a final because it's uh, it's one shot. And it's not a the 15 or the 23 blokes that play this weekend. You guys started this program almost 12 months ago, and you've only played six games in a competition. So it's a whole squad effort to actually get to this point, isn't it? Yeah, huge. Uh, and, and some and some boys have been unfortunate. Um, but Felix hasn't been able to play much through injury. Who who um, who was um, played last year and was very good. Um, but he's missed out through injury uh, this year. Um, other boys have come in. Leo Gillan's come in um, from our, from Ace program and been been unbelievable. And the strides he's made um, through through the program have been fantastic. But yeah, we, we said that on Friday. We we we've got a game uh, on on Friday at uh, Leicester Grammar, and it's it's about it's about that. Um, 
that whole squad effort. It's about the, the lads who brought the handbook when they went away to Munster. It's about, you know, um, the lads who went over to, to Langley in the summer and, and all those things add into and build up to, to this week. Um, some have more of a part to play in it than, than others this week. But, yeah, it's about um, about that whole squad effort and, and everyone's done really well and everyone's been on the journey. Everyone's improved. Um, and hopefully we'll get the you know the rewards and silverware for that um, on on Sunday. Thanks, Mike.